Okay, I'm here again at the VMware vCloud Forum 2014 Sydney Lunar Park. And I'm here at the Telstra uh, vCloud Air stand. They're one of the Telstra partners. And you can see here, he's about to come into frame, we have Chris Minahan. He's one of the cloud sales specialists at Telstra. So Chris, just imagine I'm one of, the, uh, one of ITY's readers coming to your stand to ask you what is Telstra doing with VMware's vCloud? You know, what is it? And why should people use Telstra over other people that are here? Why are we here? Yeah. That's what you want to know. And there's a very special reason we're here. It's because today, Telstra launched vCloud Air in Australia. So tell us all about it. This, but Telstra has been in the cloud yes. business for quite some time now. And we're looking now to focus on our core competencies around our networks and around our security and to start delivering a choice of cloud platforms to our customers. And you can see here our vision is creating that choice of hybrid cloud solutions. We know that not all enterprises are fit for cloud today, and it's likely that the future versions of cloud are going to need multiple flavors of cloud solutions. Some of them might not even fit initially into a cloud. So it's important that you have this choice, you have the hybrid model, and that you can connect to the different cloud platforms that suit the business solution for you. So if you take a look along this suite of products, you'll notice that Telstra has been providing on-premise type of solutions, which in a form of a VBlock solution, uh, that gives our customers an opportunity to work with uh, a stack that they know and love. <laughs> We've got a great touch screen working here. And, uh, and, and that's the important thing here is that customers uh, have certainly become quite used to and have enjoyed the benefits of VMware's technologies. That VMware stack is embedded in many enterprises. And to, take, to make that move to a cloud and get something that looks compatible with what you have today is going to be an important consideration going forward. If you think about moving that VM instance from where it is today in your data center to a public cloud, that might be uh, Azure, it might be Amazon, you're going to have to do some work. You're going to have to do some work to that instance, to the data, to get it there and to make it work the way you want it to work. The proposition from Telstra and vCloud is about having that consistent look and feel that you've had and that you've become used to. So you can use the features and the benefits of the vSphere technology to lift and shift to VMs and to have the confidence that they're going to work in a cloud type model. When with launching vCloud Air, we'll be launching the uh, suite of packages that you'll see uh, globally launched in the vCloud Air suite, which is the uh, DR as a service and the virtual desktop instances. So customers, particularly with DR, it becomes quite a complex and costly solution these days. But going forward now with this proposition over your Telstra network, you can place your servers into a model such as vCloud Air and the confidence that's going to deliver for you at a great price point. You're paying a price point of $700 a month or thereabouts, and then you're paying $100 a month per terabyte or whatnot. So it's a great option for customers looking for a low-cost, reliable DR solution. Telstra also are looking to move up the stack. So not only looking to interconnect everything with our clever networks, but we're moving into an application marketplace. So we'll have enterprise applications available for you that will run over the top of these platforms and give you a choice of getting up the stack and paying a user pay model for the applications that suit your business needs. So that's the Telstra vision, having flexibility, having a hybrid cloud choice, and the big exciting thing today is that we've launched the cloud air platform in Australia, and uh, we look forward to doing business with our customers on that platform. Now it says launching 2015, approximately when will that be? Early? Oh, it'll be very early 2015, uh, so the January to March quarter will launch. Um, certainly in the immediate future, we'll be uh, running beta testing with our customers. So, can, can you share any of who your current customers are, or is it all top secret? Oh, we haven't yet moved on to beta, beta testing. The platform is being built now in, um, in Clayton, in our Melbourne facility today. Uh, but uh, there will be plans for extending that. Um, and once the platform is built, probably in this next, I suppose, month or so, we'll be launching the beta program. Any uh, final message for the ITY readers about Telstra? I think, think about it. Tells from now a little bit different. Uh, 
try not to think about us as that old telco that you always loved. Think about us more as, as a place to go to consume these services. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thanks.